Hey Crop Girls, it's Tammy here. And today I'm here to share with you what I'm calling the magic mat technique. So this is a technique that I actually learned from Diane Lambert, who is our uh, advisor success manager in the US. And uh, I have tweaked it a little bit to get the most of our paper. So she showed us how to take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or piece of paper and get five, four five by seven mats out of one piece of cardstock. And, uh, and that was like pretty amazing. Um, but, but for me, I rarely scrap five by seven photos or I'm rarely uh, putting four five by seven photos onto one album page layout um, or even a double page layout. So what I do a lot of is matting four by six photos and uh, I rarely clock my photos. So I'm always looking, I'm always cutting a four and a quarter by six and a quarter uh, mat. And so I took the formula that Diane shared with us and I was able to create a, a new formula where you can get a border strip, uh, a little embellishment strip, and four, four and a quarter by six and a quarter mats. And uh, you wanna know what that looks like on an album page? Well, something like this. So this is just one sheet of cardstock that matted all four photos. Uh, now this one was a four by six photo. I just wanted a four by four, so I just cut it down. And it even cut this border strip and this little border strip here, um, all out of one sheet of paper. So would you like to learn how to do that? All right, so let's get ready to make our magic mats. So the first cut we're going to make is using the border maker system. And we're gonna cut one of the border maker borders. And for this example, I'm going to use the spiky evergreen cartridge. And we're going to cut all the way down the one side. gives us a cute little strip that we can use on either this page or another page. And then to get the perfect four and a quarter by six and a quarter mat, we are going to cut the remaining cardstock into ten and a half by ten and a half square. So these pieces over here I can use for embellishments or cutting out shapes later. So this is where the magic happens. This is where I'm going to get four, four and a quarter by six and a quarter mats out of this one sheet of paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the paper in so it's at four and a quarter and then I'm going to bring the arm down and then if you can see there's a little guide here and I'm going to move that to six and a quarter. And I'm going to, and I can see that down this way too. So six and a quarter, and I'm gonna press, and I'm gonna roll up. And then I'm gonna open up the arm, and I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise. And I'm gonna put it back at the four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna check that side again down to six and a quarter and I'm gonna press and I'm gonna roll up. There's my first mat and I'm gonna turn it again counterclockwise. Again, put it in at the four and a quarter and I'm just gonna cut all the way down. There's two. And again, I'm gonna put it in or turn counterclockwise and put it at the four and a quarter. 
and I'm going to press and roll up. And so now I have four perfect four and a quarter by six and a quarter mats. I have a little embellishment. I have a border. I have a little peekaboo strip. I have a little embellishment strip. I have all of this for an album page. So let's see what that could look like on an album page. So you can just play around with however you would normally put your photos on your album pages. And then you can save this one for something else. You could cut shapes out of this one. If you want it all four on, then you can do this. And where did that other little square go? It could go in here somewhere too. Oh, can't find it. And you put that in the center. So you can see how this could turn into uh, a really nice layout once you get the photos on there. And then this was the sample I had given earlier, where I had used the three photo mats. I cut this one down to a four by four. I added this strip and even this little strip here because it matched the other side, which which is this. So that's what that's going to look like in my album. So there you have it. How to get four, four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mats out of one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. Now, if you want the five by seven photo mats, you're going to use a full sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock and put your paper in at the five inch mark and you're gonna cut down to the seven inch mark. Then you're going to turn your paper counterclockwise and put it in again at the five inch and cut down to the seven. And again, turn counterclockwise, put in at the five and cut down to the seven. That will give you four perfect five by seven photo mats. Now, if you would like four by, or sorry, four and a half by six and a half photo mats, then you're going to start with an 11 by 11 sheet of cardstock or paper. And you're going to put your paper in at the four and a half mark and cut down to the six and a half mark. And then again, turn your paper counterclockwise and put your paper in at the four and a half and cut down to six and a half and so on. So that's a uh, what I like to call the magic photo mats. You're getting four photo mats out of one sheet of cardstock. Plus, if you are doing four and a quarter by six and a quarter mats, you are getting four photo mats plus a border strip plus some embellishment strips. And, uh, and again, this is what uh, I'm starting with for my next layout with, I used three of the four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mats. But look at everything I have left over. I have the other photo mat that I didn't use. I have a little square. I have another little peekaboo strip that tucks nicely under a border. And uh, and then I have another embellishment strip that I've, you know, cut a pine tree punch out of it already. So this is uh, a great way to use up your, uh, to use a full sheet of cardstock to get those photo mats. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, until next time, happy scrapbooking.